St. Paul Regional Water Services maintains over 1,200 miles of water main in St. Paul and the surrounding area. Customers are served by water service lines connected to these mains. Ownership of the water connection is shared by St. Paul Regional Water Services and the property owner. Since 1927, copper pipe has been primarily used for this connection. However, before then, it was common for plumbers and water utilities to use lead material. There was also a brief period after World War II when lead pipe was used to construct the service lines. The water leaving St. Paul Regional Water Service's treatment plant does not contain lead, but tap water can accumulate trace amounts of lead through the corrosion of plumbing materials containing lead. St. Paul Regional Water Services has had an aggressive corrosion control program since the early 1990s to reduce the possibility of lead leaching into tap water. System-wide sampling demonstrates the success of this program as it has been effective in keeping the lead levels in tap water in compliance with the Environmental Protection Agency's action limit for lead. Even so, a small percentage of homes may have lead concentrations above the EPA action limit. This lead can come from lead service lines or plumbing fixtures, such as brass fixtures containing lead or lead solder in their plumbing. There are simple but effective things you can do to reduce your exposure to lead in drinking water. Once a month, remove the aerator in the kitchen faucet. You might need a pliers or a wrench to loosen the aerator. Use a rag or other item around the aerator to protect it from getting scratched. Rinse out the aerator in your kitchen and replace it. This will flush out any lead particles that could have been loosened during regular use. When water has been sitting stagnant for six hours or more, such as overnight or during the workday, run your faucet for three to five minutes before using for cooking or drinking. Use cold water for cooking and drinking. Do not use hot water from the tap for preparing baby formula. Use cold water and heat it. You can also use a water pitcher to filter water used for drinking or cooking. Make sure the filter you purchase is certified for lead removal. Follow the directions for the filter by soaking the filter before first use and changing the filter every two months or as directed by the manufacturer. If you are concerned about lead levels in your water, you can have us test it for you. Pick up a sample container from St. Paul Regional Water Services and follow the instructions included with the container. After the water in your home has remained stagnant for six hours or more, such as overnight, take the very first draw of water from the kitchen tap and fill the water container. Then bring the container back to St. Paul Regional Water Services for testing. We will send you your results and help you interpret them. For more information, you can call customer service at 651-266-6350. More information on reducing your exposure to lead in drinking water is also available on the St. Paul Regional Water Services website. Music